All right, this section 15.5, which starts on page 498, is doing the same thing we did yesterday with the chain discounts, but this time we're going to use the complement method. And the complement method, just like we were doing with trade discounts, it does not mean, hey, you're wearing a nice shirt today. It means that it's always from 100%. So if I told you 30% off, the complement of that would be 70. Or if I said 10% off, the complement of that would be 90%, and so on. So that's what we're going to deal with today. It's a little bit different formula. It's the same kind of outcome that we did yesterday uh, with the chain discounts, but a little less steps. So it'll be a little bit nicer for you. So the first formula that we're going to have to figure out is the net price rate. And the net price rate is the product, and product meaning multiply, of the complements. of the chain discount rates. Okay, that's the first thing that we have to do. The net price rate is referring to the product or multiplication of all the complements of the chain discount rates. Then the next formula that you would use to find the net price would equal the list price I can spell list price multiplied by the net price rate or that thing you just found when you did that. Okay, so for a problem and specifically to that, it would say if the list price was thirty-two dollars and eighty-nine cents, and you had chain discounts of twenty percent less ten percent. Okay, the first thing that I would do is I would find the complements of the 20 and complements of the 10. So complement of the 20% would be 80%. So again, those two numbers need to add up to be 100. And then the complement of 10% would be 90. Now, 80% and 90% as decimals are 0 0.8, 0 0.9. So to find that net price rate, you take 0 0.8 times 0 0.9, and you get 0.72. Okay, so it's 0.72. So for that particular thing, we've just found the net price rate. Okay, so it was 72% or 0.72. Then in order to figure out what the net price is, you take that 32.89 and you times it by 0.72. So 32.89 times that number. And I end up with $23.68. And that is it. So a little bit easier than yesterday. Yesterday, you know, you had to find each one of them individually each time and then keep going. And you could still do that. It still would give you the same option or same outcome, but this is a little less uh, work to do. So number one says find the net price rate. And the problem says the list price is $560. And it's 30% less 10%. Remember, that's how I can write that also with that. So for number one, to find the net price rate, the complement of 30 is 70, and the complement of 10 is 90%. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 0.7 times 0.9. Those are my complements of those, of those two particular things. And when I get that, I get 0.63 or 63%. Okay, that's what I get. Then for number two, I'm going to take my five... $160 and I'm going to multiply it by 0.63 and I should get $352.80. So again, in order to get these two numbers here, the 90 and the 70, I took the complements or what would add to 30 to give me 100 and what would add to 10 to give me 100 um, and then multiply them together. That's how I get the net price rate. Okay, So if they're asking for net price rate and net price, that is your steps that you have to do. So it's a little bit different than yesterday, a little bit easier, more manageable than, than it was yesterday. The other thing that you could do is it says you want to find the dollar amount of the discount. So when you do this, another way that you can do it is also using the complement method. And now we're going to refer to an SED. Okay, SED stands for Single Equivalent Discount. Okay. 
So that's what's going to happen there is single equivalent discount. And how you find that is you find it by the complement of the net price rate. Okay, And then to figure out what the discount is, like how much money did you save, that's what we were looking for for that particular thing, you would take the list price multiplied by the SED. Okay, So same exact problem where we had the list price was $560, the chain discount was 30 less 10, the net price rate was 63 so on number three, to find the SED, if our net price rate was 63%, then in order to get that, you would take 100 minus that 63%, and you end up with 37%, or 0.37. Then to find the discount, you take that list price of $560, you times it by 0.37, and I end up with 207 and 20 cents, which is in fact how much we saved. That's number four. Okay, so again, if I wanted to do that to find out how much the discount was, I take the complement of the net price rate and then I multiply it by the original price that gives me the how much the discount was. Okay, or another way that you could simply do that is you could find the you could find the the um, the net price and subtract it from the original list price. That should also give you the same number. Okay, so if I did uh, back here on this slide where I did um, it was 560, now it's 352.80. If I were to take 560 minus the 352.80, I should come up with that same number of 207.20. Okay, so that's one of the things that could happen there too. Is just just another way of looking at it, another way of, of doing the same problems. Then when you turn to the next page, just so that you guys know the the chart, when it says the list price uh, in the first column, then it gives you the different chain discounts, then it gives you the net price rate, and then the net price the SED. In order to find the SED, you take the net price rate minus that from a hundred, and then the discount you would take the SED number and multiply it by the list price. Okay, so um, I hope that helped. Hopefully that should uh, make sense. Uh, if not, hopefully try to read this or, or go through it again. Um, but you are doing 1 through 16. So anyway, have a good rest of the day. Talk to you guys later. Bye.